This is why we are with Made Man. We're gonna just play this thing because that's a copyrighted song. You okay, Joey? <laughs> yeah, yeah, now move over. I'm driving. Look, this is a very big day for me. <clears throat> Philly called. By the end of the day, I'm either gonna be a made man or I'm gonna be dead. What the fuck's going on? It's about money. This time it's gold, but it's always about fucking money. Look, you really sure you want to know what this is all about? Okay, kid. All right, but I better start at the beginning. All right, listen, when we got back from Nam, Egg said he owed me. Eggs? You mean Johnny Eggs, right? I heard yeah, him. Yeah, Johnny Eggs beyond them. Anyway, listen, when we got back home, he said he had some big plans, and I went right along with him, because pretty much I had nothing else to do that day. Little Italy. That's where I first met Philly Lombardi. Hey, so you're Joey. I want to thank you for looking after my boy. He was talking about eggs. So I understand you're looking for work. Look, I got a little business in North Carolina you could take care of for me. See, what you gotta understand is, what most monsters do on a day-to-day -day basis to earn is mundane. Like, buying cigarettes cheaply in North Carolina and reselling them in New York. Without collecting any tax, of course. And a smile, sweetheart. Turns out the manager was a nom vet who got himself shot and sent home just before my tour had started. He liked to talk, and since I'd been alone on the road for days, it made for a change. Besides, the waitress Doris wasn't entirely unpleasant on the eyes. Hey, you want to stop locking the door there, Benny? Get all kinds around here, I'm telling you. Okay, so here's the game finally. Um, one second though, I need to... Services here sucks. Sorry. All I want is a goddamn cup of coffee. A little service around here would be nice. Elmar, wait to turn like everybody else. Jesus. I only want coffee. Hey, ain't no one leaving till I give me a kiss from Dory. Yo, I want to leave. The voices are really low on that. I don't know why. Alright, so collect weapons by picking them up. There we go. He shot them already, so there's nothing I could do. I could punch the. D you know, do that because I can. truck back I was gonna be a dead man what the fuck's all the ruckus boss ain't got time to explain Bill go out front and see if the girls need any help okay I'll be back soon oh and you got the gun Joe come on all right so here's some uh, actual gameplay you shoot people badly if you can't aim. These friends of yours. So he doesn't <laughs> shoot back for some reason and dies. Time, but there was a lot more to this than cigarettes. An innocent man had been killed here, and I had a feeling he wasn't going to be the last. So he's dead, which is terrible, I guess. I don't know. I don't even know him really. You could dual wield once you pick up two of one weapon. These are innocent people who you shouldn't kill. 
You can kill them. I'm not gonna because that's that's fucked up, man. I ain't that fucked up. If they were children, yeah, I'd kill them. They're not children though. They're fully grown men. They got reasons to live. Oh, damn it. Gotta pick up the ammo from this side. I just go through here. And... There's more ammo. Alright, now they're dead. So you can move on. As far as I know, you could dual wield pretty much everything you pick up, though. I was just telling you how to dual wield right now. See that? Oh, collect med packs for health. There we go. Take care of them, and we'll sort your cut out later, okay? No problem, boy. I got your cure right here. That's not a cure. I figured this must have been Weasel Walt. Killing's a funny thing, kid. It can be the easiest of things, and can also be the hardest. You think if your target is a father, or brother, or son, even for a second, you're a dead man. So you can go through some of the doors. That's one of them. Another innocent guy. Amir, just a basic room where the beds flipped. In the early days, I've been to war, seeing guys die right in front of me by my own hand. Me, shooting and dropping the guys. Alright, now I'm just gonna move out. Then there's a, four people here, so just gotta kill all them real quick, and we can move on. If you don't get headshots, a cool thing happens, but uh, I usually just aim for the head in this game for some reason. I could, I'll try to do it here, but if you don't fully kill them, something neat happens. Both of them fully died, of course. It's harder to, than you think to not kill somebody, I guess. All right, move to the next building. Grab the ammo, and I'm getting shot at from. I think there's another guy. I'll just go outside and get him though. The junkyard, more weasel waltz, redneck oh, ammo. For me. I just couldn't fucking understand why someone wanted me dead so badly. All right, there we go. Pick up all the ammo they drop. One of them dropped a shotgun, even. Oops, just wasted a shot. There it is, that's the shotgun. Let's go back to the pistols, though. Go over here. The gate that led out of the junkyard was locked up tight. I guess that wouldn't be going that way just yet. Can't go up that. Be cool if you could, but you can't. So you just gotta go this way. You got bullet time you could use too. I don't know what s distinguishes when you can and can't use it though, honestly. Like, I only got to use it once before, and that so far I think is my one time. I could swap out the shotgun for a sniper rifle, and then. Just like that. Two kills. Here's a, a genius redneck plan to kill you. Very uh fucking inbreds thought I was gonna go running under a hanging car while they were at the controls and they were even more stupid than I thought. So the question is, am I stupid enough to see my guy get crushed by a car? Yes I am, actually. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny because I was way off to the side where it would have missed. Oh, the game crashed. Stupid game. And I'm back in it. Uh, here we are. We'll go ahead and use a sniper here because uh, they're far away. 
There's one of them. Now he's dead. So much for redneck cunning. So is he. Now you can walk under the car. Um, but yeah, this game is very unstable when you're recording. Like, it crashes whenever it goes to a cutscene type thing. It's really bad. I can't do a let's play for it because of that reason. So, no let's plays for this game. Sorry. There, this is when they don't fully die. See that? It gives you like a split screen. It's interesting. Gun store. There was no one around, and since I wasn't planning on getting myself killed, I thought I'd best announce myself. Ernie, Ernie, you in here? I'm here, boy. And just who the fuck are you? The name's Varola. Joey Varola. Sorry, son. I thought you was one of those no good boys or weasels. Norris called to say you'd be here soon. Well, where's Merv? Uh, I'm afraid Merv didn't make it, old time. Yeah. Weasel Walden and his boys have gone too far this time. You know where I can find this guy? Yeah, but I got a more pressing problem, boy. While we stand here getting acquainted, Walt's boys are busy raiding my store. I ain't as young as I used to be, and sure could use a hand here. Way I figured it. The way to the swamp was through the old timer's gun store, and if I was ever gonna get my truck back, his problem had just become my problem. Lead the way, old man. Alright, so now we have to. Well, kill these guys, I guess. What the hell? He just teleported. Yeah, so there's some armor you could pick up. Thank you, boy. I couldn't have done it on my own. You want to find your truck? Go out that door and just keep on going. There's only one way through to the swamp from here. Glad I could help, old timer. Hey, enough of the old. Now you're gonna have to forgive me, cause I got a whole lot of cleaning up to do back there. Walt and his boys are no good thieves and liars. You go give them what they deserve, son. Oh, I missed that? There. There's a health kit and a shotgun. I'm not gonna get the shotgun, though. Cause I like my pistols. Whoever had sent these guys to look after me wasn't taking any chances. Seemed like half a fucking New York's wise guys had turned out just to see I didn't make it through the day alive. Jesus, keep on moving. I don't know what those legs are from or anything, but you can try to shoot them. I don't think it hurts them, actually. Okay, so lots of guys with shotguns. These guys have a uh, machine pistol. And you could do another one of these. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye, revolver, hello, machine pistol. Was that a two and one? Ooh, that was nice. Okay, there's one more somewhere. There he is. And the rest are inside. Okay. And there's this guy. Not too bad. Go ahead and go up here and pick up their ammo. They didn't drop anything useful, of course. You can drop down. Save some time. Sweet dreams, fucko. <laughs> That's what he gets for calling me a motherfucker. So, at last I reached the swamp. I just had to find a truck and I was in the clear, but as usual, things didn't go that easy.
PTSD. You saw fucking Huey in Carolina? Are you fucking with me? Well, it wasn't really a Huey, you fucking schmuck. It was a chopper, but I have this problem. See, I get these flashbacks. Sorry, Joe. I, I didn't mean no disrespect. Look, I don't know what the, the sight of the chopper, the swamps, the fact that practically every motherfucker I met that day was trying to kill me. I don't know. One thing was for sure. My body might have been in Carolina, but in my head, I was back in Nam. And that's where this whole fucking thing started. I think it was fucking rat times. And I think it'll crash here. Yep. So that's where this will end. Till next time, Spamar BR, see ya.